video. I hate it. What's going on? Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Hey yo guys, what's going on? So today I am very happy because you know why? The weather is actually nice again. Yes! It just puts me in a better mood. This morning I went to the gym, got up at six o'clock in the morning, which is absolutely crazy for me. So what do you think? Does it make you happy? Your tail's wagging. Now stop. Now it's wagging again. That means you're happy. But I'm also happy because the other day I just hit 2,000 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for about seven months now. Man, it has been such a grind. Like I see a lot in the comments section, you deserve so many more subscribers. Like, yeah, it's great to know that people are subscribing to my content. It is a great feeling. But at the same time, I don't do it just for the viewers. Like I do it because I love creating content and I'm a filmmaker. The day that I upload a video where I'm not satisfied and not proud, that's when I know that I'm gonna have to quit YouTube. I definitely don't see that day coming anytime soon. That's another thing that I'm going to talk about. With the whole apocalypse thing going on in YouTube, it's actually been really depressing recently. H3H3 released a video talking about how Casey Neistat made a video where he raised $250,000 for the Las Vegas victims. All that money was going towards them. I want to raise as much money as possible and I want to give that money to the families of the victims, the victims themselves, the survivors, the people directly affected in a physical way from this just horrific attack. And that video was monetized. Casey said that all the money from the ad was gonna go towards the Las Vegas victims. He's doing the best that he can to help these people out. And then YouTube comes at him saying that they're not going to monetize videos that have tragedies in it. Whereas Jimmy Kimmel made a video about the Las Vegas attacks and that was monetized. It feels like YouTube is favoring some people from other creators and higher people get better priorities. YouTube should explain itself in that way because it makes it really hard for us small creators creators like me. Although I don't do it for the money, my dreams of becoming a full-time big YouTuber is pretty much next to impossible if the whole adpocalypse doesn't take a turn. This isn't a problem for me at the moment. I'm living with my parents. I don't have many bills to pay. I'm doing photography and that money's just getting me by. I'm just talking like later down the track, staying at the same place, doing the same old thing. And I just want to be able to spread my wings a bit and fund this amazing thing, which is making videos for you guys. It's so much fun. I love doing it. At the same time, I have to make a living. That's why at the moment I've been asking you guys if you guys could subscribe because it would really help me. I know I say it, but it really does help. Or I go into the film industry. The film industry is a hard industry to get into. So it's either I commit everything to one thing or the other. And right now I just want to commit everything to this vlogging thing, this YouTube thing, this thing with you guys that I can't get on any other platform or anything else that I do. People have said now is literally the worst time to become a YouTuber and there's no chance that anyone can make it as a YouTuber these days. I'm not going to listen to that. If I try and I commit everything that I can, I feel like I'll be able to get there. It's just time and patience and hopefully a little bit of luck. Anyway, sorry about that negativity. I felt like I needed to rant to someone. I needed to talk to you guys about that. So let's keep going with this beautiful day. <laughs> So I have some photos to edit right now. And then got to drop them off to one's place on a USB. See, I like event photography because it meets so many new people. It's a lot of fun if you like talking to people like I do. Once it's all done, when you come into the editing, sit back, put on some music and... So that's all finished. Now I need to go downtown. I need to get a USB. Come back, put the stuff on the USB, go back downtown, and then drop it off at Coles because she works there, the person that I'm doing the party for. And then I need to go pick up Bella, and I just need to do that in time. It's currently quarter to three, and take her straight to work. So I need to do that really quick. I don't know why I'm filming. To live and to love, you don't need much, you got the pieces. Beyond and above, when you know the single reason. Check that off the list. Now we gotta go get Bella. And stronger and faster. Bottle up and get going. The road is running up slowly. I wanna be the one better and stronger and faster. 
Alright, so I just made it. Just in time. Hey y'all. I hate him. What's going on? Hey guys, what's up? Get me on YouTube. Did I just embarrass you in front of all your friends? No. <laughs> I came in time. Fun at work. Hello. That girl. <laughs> We're back, so that concludes today's video, guys. I know it was a pretty short one. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe. It's good talking to you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.